Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome back to the Crested Gaming Lounge. Yes, we are going to, today, be playing part two of uh, Starfield. Yes, because I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I have sort of really fallen in love with this. Um, I, I know I was, like, asking you guys, do you want to see more of this on the channel? I went ahead and recorded a little bit more anyways, because... <clears throat> this game was really, um, it was nice. It was hard for me to put it down, so to say, metaphorically. Obviously, I'm not holding it, but you know what I mean. It was hard for me to stop playing it. It was, um, so far, it's been a great game. I know there's some weird controversy around this game now. I, it's a stupid controversy, by the way, first of all. I'm not even going to talk about it. it that's that, it's that ridiculous, you know. It's a good game. Actually, a really decent Bethesda game. Uh, first, like first Bethesda I new IP in twenty five years. Let's just rejoice in that. First of all, like that's all we have to talk about. It's a great game. Bueno, nice. Let's get straight back into this, shall we? Let's do it. It's part two, by the way. Yes, part two. Get your snacks and drinks. Let's do it. Okay, peeps, so we had just landed on Atlantis, I think. Yes. Hello? Yes. Fine, whatever, he just wanted to say that. Come on, let's go, let's go, baby. Look, it's a shit R2 D2. Maybe it's better, who knows? Hello there. I will enjoy my visit. Look at this. It's massive. Imagine if I could play this on ultra settings. That would be great. Hello, sir. Ma'am. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. No, sure, yeah. Not now, though. Talk to Sergeant Yumi. To go faster into the sound, eh? Just break the sound, but probably bad idea if it breaks the sound barrier. In the middle of the city. Did you just drop your brain? Where did your broom go? Bro, don't do that. That's fucking freaky. Can I rummage through the trash? I I'm a homeless person. Oh, look at all this, it's so cool. I wish that, like, even if this is medium settings, the graphics are kind of grainy. But I, I guess this is what I'm gonna have to live with, right? Reliant Medical. This must not be America, then. Something to report. Bruh. Here we are, the Lodge. The Lodge. The door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Okay, sure. Cool. Smart move. Most of the people that it's such a highly advanced city there. Everyone will be in the library. They're probably not gonna think about it. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. This is cool. Hello! Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Um, pirates attacked. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is okay. typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining oi, oi, oi. he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. Silence! If that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Mateo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? 
What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? I... Uh, it was bright lights and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Yes. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honest to God, you expect us to believe in fairy. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? Yeah. But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel. I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Yes. Let's see. What's happening? We know the artifacts react to each other. The uh -huh. pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Okay. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Yes, of course. That's it. Just like the others. Yes. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Uh-huh. But I found a third one. Oh, hello. Oh my God, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material. It's going to be a ring world, isn't it? Do that. None of them. This proves. Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. <laughs> I would have too. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Uh huh. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godric? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Uh huh. Now, would it? Good God. Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? Yes. See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Yes. All right, I mean, tell me what happens next. It's a little much. I need some time to clear my head. How much uh, do you know about the artifact? What are they? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Yeah. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. Mm -hmm. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. I. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Of some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Oh. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with Ooh. some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Yes, yes. Just mind your head. <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. Ooh, the artifacts like are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. I That's good. I think my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise usually, but a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Mm hmm, yeah. I have to admit, I'm excited. My first mission. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an <sighs> electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. Yes. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Got it. You and me until we get that artifact. We'll need to head to Mast. Yes. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? I yep, understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Hi. Hello, Walter. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. There are days that are tough, sure. But I've been cold worse. Here, <laughs> I wouldn't even know. Still doesn't excuse it. 
My frustrations lie more with Varric. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. Hey, so, you know. let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and off times grumpy old man. It's fine, I'm a grumpy old man too. <laughs> Glad to be here. This points to grumpiness in the future. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, Ooh, nice. testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects. If you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. Shouldn't I'm be a problem. I'm a self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. I like that. This isn't where I expected to find the CEO. Maybe I should just... Um, what's your role in the constellation? Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all okay. this. All my success mm. in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. That sounds like a good... You know. The daring of Ms. Morgan or the smarts <laughs> of young Matei. But I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Billionaire using his wealth for something good. Well, this is preposterous. Bye. Till next time. Hello, Matteo. Doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Matteo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. Hmm. It's really good to have you with us. These artifacts all came out of caves? Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Hey, what do you make of the vision I saw? I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. True. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but you know, if the label fits. Ah, it meant something I didn't understand it. I know it's important, I can feel it. It has to be, right? Mm -hmm. All of this is connected. We just need to figure out how and why. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Yes. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take care of yourself. So long, sir. Enough. Oh, this is the lab, yeah? Pharmaceutical lab. Can I use this for something? I can craft bandages. From sealant and fiber. I guess bandages could be good. Uh, quantity confirm. We'll be certain to put that to good use. Even your service, Captain. Noel, you. I need to talk it was to you. Intense, wasn't it? Yes. The artifacts, I mean. Mm -hmm. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. Yes. I guess a lot overwhelming now that I think about it. I'm Noel. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Of course. Sarah said something about a place for me to stay? Planning on sticking around then? Good. Yes. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Yes. Right. So you've Do seen... we have to run all the place around? Oh, is this fine? Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet. And Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet mm -hmm. 
I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Thank you! So, is there a storage for me here? Storage! Yes! I think you need to get rid of some of that gear. You don't say! I definitely need to get rid of some of this shit. Inventory. I have a lot of miscellaneous. Uh, which I can just... Can I just dunk all miscellaneous? Uh... I grabbed a lot of shit. What is in the storage? Can I see the storage unit? How big it actually is? Oh, it's endless. The oh, I love mm, big upgrade from Fallout 76, by the way. Fallout 76 team, you need to uh, take uh, note of this. So, we need to talk to Sergeant Yumi as well and talk to the ship service technician. First, we're gonna do this though. Talk to Sarah's contact. Those are the ones I finished. So, we need to talk to Sarah's contact. Uh, or, brought out a course. There. Talk to Sarah's contact. Could I, oh, I could just fast travel there immediately. That's simple. Very good. I like it when it's simple. Hello, Sarah. They're up there. Let's go, Sarah. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, friend. Come on. You're slow, Sarah. You should be running faster than this. Oh, my God. Uh, mm. Graphics bit wonky sometimes. Could also be that my graphics card is melting from playing this. Hello there. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Oh, another space explorer. Aye, aye. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Maybe later. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, <laughs> I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. <laughs> it's a game we play. He asks. I say no. <laughs> Is it a game that I got for you two? Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Hmm. Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Oh. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. We'll talk to him. I'm sure we can uh, make him a good offer for it. Soul system is a lot of planets. Yeah. Like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Yes. Hey, yes. Nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. As long as it's a little refresh. Thank you for your help, John. A bar in a spaceport sounds like home. <laughs> it's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, <clears throat> by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. Yes. You see is a good friend to have. Absolutely, my man. Absolutely. Good that you can just do that. I mean, it would be nice to run around the area. I'm, I, I will probably most likely do that as well. But, you know, for the sake of the video, this is good. We can just, you should still see the fancy surroundings, but this way you can just easily get around. So I'm sure this city is humongalungalous. I would not be doubtful about that one bit. 
Oh, it's very nice here. Do you have a death wish or something? Yes, I do. How did you know? <laughs> there. Sold. Jump. Time to get this ship moving. Scanning progress. No contraband on the ship. Thank you. There we are. Mars. Open map. Uh, where? This is where we need to go. Yes. Land. Let's land there. Let's go talk to this guy who's flashing around an ancient artifact as some kind of trophy. Stupid idea. I like the sound. Sound design is 10 out of 10. Exit ship. I like how you can just change your view of your character as well, so you can see everything. So he's on Mars. Mars seems like an odd place to be at. Hey, maybe he likes the... I don't know. The dust? Because there's just a lot of dust here, my man. Why are you here? Maybe they have good bars. Maybe that's why he's here. That's probably why... You know, he's hanging out in the bars. Drinking. Can't blame him, right? Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. Yeah. Not, not, not a stupid idea at all, actually. He's building it underground. It's smart. I like the animations of all the doors. All of the animations are really cool. The weapon effects, everything is awesome. Always nice to kick back with a broken spear after a long day. A broken spear. There you go. What's up? Yes, what? Jack. I like your drinks. I want. I would like one alcohol, please. I'm looking for a vanguard named Muara. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're hmm. starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Ooh, you could track him down if you know his patrol route. I believe me, I heard it. After about round three or four was all he would talk about. He's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab and you don't know if he's coming back. Exactly. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money... I got problems. What do you say? Let's try and persuade him. Because we are slick. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Hey. What what matters to you more? The memory or more of the life? I wanted to imagine him out there alone, and here you are holding out for cash. Don't try to ah, shit. trip me, okay? What matters to you more, the money or more is life? Guess I should ask you the same question. You paying or what? Just tell me, and I'll get out of your hair. Ah, is this really what we're doing? Yeah. 
Now we're getting somewhere. We could be the only ones who could find him. And maybe he's not gonna get found. I'm out the cash either way. That's enough. Either pay up or get out. Shit, we failed all that. Talking about this. We have a Sarah Morgan option too. Skip to the part where you are admitting you're lying. Ah. No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You call me a liar? I'll yes. throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. See, there you go. He added another 1,500 credits because he thought we were going to be stupid and just pay him. Nah, 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 nah. Agreed on a discount, right? Let me confirm the amount. Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. Mm -hmm. I got what I got, okay? Fine. We'll make do. Now, where did we need to go? We needed to go there. Travel. Boom! Away! It's in the same solar system, so it should be, you know, ninth little stroll in the solar system. Shit. Hello, what do we have here? See that cluster of ships? Varun mm. Zealots. You ever run into one? Nope. <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The Devourer of the Unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. We did. Well, I doubt they know uh, where, where our vanguard is. Why are the room silets uh, out uh, here near Venus? No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the zealots are outside of their control. Hmm. Or so they say. I doubt they know where our vanguard is. Beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Sure. All oh, right, I get options for the Serpent's Embrace because I'm part of it. We can distract them with a litany of uh, the faith. I will give you uh, a passage. To recite. You worship the great serpent. <laughs> well, lucky for us. All right, I'll broadcast out over our comm system. If this works, we should be able to get to that satellite without them caring. Yes. It is okay, brothers and sisters of the great serpent. I have arrived. I am one of you. Absolutely, I agree. We wouldn't dare. Uh, 
Activate. We're heading to Earth. Ooh, interesting. Earth in year 3300, was it, right? 2300. Interesting. Earth, soul system. Why didn't we just travel there immediately? What happens? What the fuck is going on? Are we doing it in multiple steps or what? Let's see if Vanguard uh, Moira uh, is in that story or then, yeah. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Most stations and ships can be docked with, allowing you to board them. You will need to select the ship in your HUD and then fly close enough to it so that the dock prompt appears. Okay, cool. Let's do that then. I'm coming over, Station Senpai. Get ready to be docked with. I know that sounds sexual, but it's not. Focus. <laughs> we have docked with the ship. Board. Oh, shit. Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. Mm. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. It's me. Why? Well, you tell that to them. Apparently they thought it was absolutely worthwhile. How do we get further in, though? We can't get through this door, can we? So how the hell do we get through? Hello? Maybe through here? Yeah. Eat shit, sir. Oh, 
Damn, what the? Who be shooting from where? The hell? Oh, you, there you are. Hello, sir. Then don't! Moron! Don't stand there then and take it to the face, you the dumbass! Shit, hello. Haha! I'm getting there. Up there. Come back here, fool. Oh, you're running into your body, so you. That's cool. Running to your friends so you have some backup. I can uh, dig that. Yeah, I, I have some new weapons now. I need to check them because they're probably going to be better than what I have already. Boosted Solstice. That's a laser pistol. That's definitely good. I have some new weapons now. Should be fine for a while. Oh, thank you. Shit, that did not do much damage at all, did it? I need more ammo for this thing. I'm just gonna use the cutter for a while. Well, that counts as killing them with laser weapons. Kill them. See if they've got any weapons or ammo. Oh, they do. I picked up some of it. You just haven't, because you're stupid. Oh, that was a purple weapon. I muy thank you for that. Now, time to shake my weapons again. <laughs> Good. 
But it, it wasn't a weapon, maybe, then. Was it, like, uh, uh, armor? Maybe. New items. It was a helmet. Oh, that's actually quite good. Yeah. What's this shit? This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. He's almost daring the spaces to come after him. It's actually not a bad plan. Much better odds destroying one of their ships yeah. than fighting them all at once here. Mm hmm Yes. But you know what, people? I'm gonna leave it right there, because this will be my first impression of this game. So we're not gonna go too hardcore into it now. If you want to see more of it, obviously leave a comment uh, in the comment section below. Yes, if you want to see more of this. And also don't forget to like the video. Yes, I know. Cringe YouTube comments and all that. But yes, please do it. Uh, this has been fun, actually. Uh, I have not yet met any of the typical Bethesda bugs and glitches and all that that we have come to all love and expect. Yes. So, so far... Molto bene. It's a, it's a nice game. It has all of the elements that I would expect from this type of game. Um, so a lot of people that compare this to, let's say, No Man's Sky. I don't think that's fair, because this seems to be like in a completely different genre of its own. Uh, like it has the exploration and all that, but there's also a lot of focus on story and combat. Uh, story, obviously, Bethesda is very well known for having very, very well-written storylines and all that, so... Uh, you know what? It's good. I like it. Uh, I myself was in on in, in the in the wrong for comparing this to No Man's Sky without even trying it. Now I have tried it, and I can tell you because I played No Man's Sky as well. They're two completely separate, different things. If you want more of the just yes, the exploration bit, No Man's Sky is maybe a bit more for you. Starfield has great stories so far. The combat is very very slick, very good. So, I, if you weren't unsure b before, hopefully this video has convinced you that this might actually be worth uh, you trying it out. Check your uh, machine first, though. Check your PC if you can run it. It, it does it actually demand you to have an SSD. It's in the requirements, so check that out first. But yes, peeps, this was my first impressions of Starfield. Great game so far. Um, if you can't wait until the next video, though, comes out, you can also go and check me out over at Twitch TV. I do stream there every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. But until then, people, I hope you have a great morning, day, or night, wherever you might be. See you in the next one, peeps. Bye-bye.